The SABC says it's confident it will complete its internal recruitment process within two weeks. The public broadcaster has given out letters of redundancy or surplus to hundreds of staff members as its retrenchment process unfolds. Around 300 people are expected to lose their jobs with the public broadcaster giving itself 14 days to fill all vacant positions. Management says it wants to complete the Section 189 process before the end of next month. Meanwhile, Labour Union Bemao and the Communication Workers Union say they will embark on industrial action jointly. CW says it's yet to reveal the details of the industrial action at the SABC. So let's get reaction on this from Mark Weinberg from Right to Know joins me now. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Right to Know had previously expressed concern about a lack of consultation around retrenchments at the SABC. What's your reaction to the la latest announcement and the letters that have been issued? Yes, uh, afternoon. Look, our concern isn't primarily with the question of jobs and retrenchments. Our concern is with the right to know and public broadcasting and the important role that we need the SABC to play in South Africa's democracy. And we're completely distressed by the SABC's board's apparent lack of interest in the future of public broadcasting. Their turnaround strategy is an attack on the values of public broadcasting. It's a commercialization agenda. And these retrenchments just as are an example of the implications of the board's decision. Uh, we learned yesterday that all the executive producers of the minority languages in the newsroom have been retrenched. That means the SABC can no longer do quality programming in the official languages. That marginalizes uh, sections of the population that are already uh, disadvantaged in the public sphere. And it's really for that reason that we're opposing the retrenchments and opposing the, broad, the board's turnaround strategy. We have to stand for our democracy and we have to defend the SABC. Mark, it's my understanding that almost all EPs across the board and across languages have received retrenchment letters, but I stand to be corrected. Now, the SABC has communicated that they are aware of their role as a primary news giver and of their mandate to inform, educate and entertain, and saying that there's been incorrect rumours around the role in particular of African language stations. But there's still a concern from right to no side about the right to, uh, to access information and how that will be impacted by the retrenchments and other things? Well, to be honest, the board in the last months has conducted itself very poorly. There's been a lack of transparency, a lack of information, and then these claims that people are not informed. The right to know has been calling on them to consult us since July last year, and they've ignored those calls. We believe the board should be the champions of public broadcasting and they should be pushing back on national government who is forcing them to cut costs. Public broadcasting, quality broadcasting costs money and the public must invest if we're going to uh, grow our democracy. Mm -hmm. What are the alternatives for a public broadcaster who is seeking to be financially sustainable not rely on government uh, for bailouts in terms of operating models and still ensure that they adhere to their mandate uh, across the country? Yeah, there's no future for public broadcasting that relies on, avenue, on, on advertising revenue. It's really sadly as simple as that. The public broadcaster must be funded with public money to be accountable to the public and serve the interests of the public. If it's advertising, they're going to serve audiences with consumer power. And in a country as uneven as ours, that excludes the majority of South Africans. Mm. So it must be public funding. Treasury must come to the party. The president must come to the party. If we're going to rescue our economy, we have to invest in democracy and get people engaged in the public sphere. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm afraid we don't see an alternative other than funding from the fiscus. 
and we're calling on all South Africans to demand that government's priorities be put right. So anecdotally, Mark, it appears that uh, Finance Minister Tito Mboweni has drawn quite a hard line when it comes to state-owned enterprises like the SABC. There was outrage over that over 10 billion rand assistance or lifeline to SAA uh, and, and not really much said about what's going to happen to the SABC. So if that does not happen and if public funding does not come through in a meaningful way, what can the SABC and people who are interested in public broadcasting and the future of a sustainable broadcaster do look we're in a tight corner we're in a crisis as you say the government found money for sabc but now can't SAA, find, rather, i mean sorry right. they found money for the saa mm. and now are saying they don't have money for sabc they you can't conflate the sabc with other parastatals the sabc has a constitutional mandate to ensure that people have the right to know and freedom of expression. I think it's, what we need to do is, is deepen this crisis so that all South Africans wake up to the importance of the SABC and send a clear message to government that we need funding. Uh, and I, I suspect those days are coming now as, as the SABC workers uh, prepare to take industrial action. All right. We are also looking at taking the matter to the judiciary to court because the SABC board is violating specific clauses in our constitution. Mm. Talk to us about that importance of the right to know and access to information for a citizen citizenry and why it, it's not just about accessing information and processing information. What's the importance of it besides knowing? How does it affect a population when they don't have access to information, good quality news, good quality um, education and more? Mm. Well, you know, we fought and defeated apartheid. And we wanted democracy. We wanted people to have power over their own lives. And we wanted a government that draws on the wisdom of everyone and balances different needs after hearing everyone. For that to work, people have to have access to information and they have to have platforms to express their voices on. Mm. Uh, so the right to know is critical as a right. Freedom of expression is critical. But in a country as uneven as ours, the SABC is at the center of the picture. The public broadcaster for many South Africans, is the only source of information. It's the only source of information in their languages, and it's the only source of information that isn't shaped by commercial editorial agendas. Mm. So we need an SABC that works. Mark Weinberg, thanks so much for your time. From Right to Know joining us there on issues surrounding the public broadcaster. We will see how that story develops and bring you all of those developments. It's now time to say goodbye to our SABC3 